How you doing guys? Welcome back to Your Florida Electrician. Today I'd like to talk about torque screwdrivers. Um, I install a lot of switches and outlets as an electrician and really you're supposed to torque these terminations. I have a hard time finding the values where you're supposed to find to torque them. How much? How many pounds? How many inch pounds? Um, but generally for switches and outlets I found it should be about 14 pounds. But what I'd really like to do is show you how to use this torque screwdriver. Okay, I have my torque screwdriver here. If you buy one and you open it up, they typically come with all kinds of attachments, different screw sizes, flat, uh, square, number two, number one, uh, hex head, all kinds. So you'll see the screwdriver will have a scale in inch pounds. Now, if you wanted to use this screwdriver to tighten the terminations on a switch, okay, and it told you 14 inch pounds, well, you have to turn the shank of this, and where the scale is red, you see that red scale? Let's see if I can get that focused. You see that red scale? Stay focused, buddy. All right, that's going to go up. I'm going to keep turning this until I get to 14. Okay, stay focused. You keep turning this until that red gets up to 14. Okay, you see where it's at 14? Okay, it's a little bit above. It's not at 15 or 16. So I'm going to go down just a little bit. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, it seems to focus really good right there. Okay, this is set. It's a typical screwdriver. This is set for 14 pounds right now. So if I was to take a switch and I want to torque these terminations, once we put some wire in there, um, we need to put a tip on the end of the torque screwdriver. Typically, I like to use these flat heads, this big flat head here. Okay, it seems to get me the most bite. That just sticks in there, boom. Then we want to go ahead and there's the scale and when you're tightening when you're tightening your screw okay you just want to slowly tighten it when it starts getting tight let me make sure i get that right in the center okay it's still not tight not tight not tight okay now i'm feeling some resistance a little bit okay so when it starts getting difficult hold on to the device Turn slowly. And it, see how it popped? It didn't skip. It didn't skip on the screw. It just kind of let it turn another turn and made like a pop noise. You ready? I'll do it again. You see? This part didn't turn. This part did. It's at 14 pounds. So what does it do? It just goes ahead and rotates. You see? So this is torqued to 14 pounds. That's how you use the torque screwdriver. Um, I had difficulty finding any kind of value on here. How many pounds to set this at? I mean, it says, you know, 15 amp, 120 volt to 277, AC only, blah, 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 blah. But no torque value anywhere. I actually asked Siri, hey, what's the torque value for switches and outlets? And Generally, what I saw came up about 14, 14 pounds. So then when you're done with the torque screwdriver, the direction says, caution, always return this back to zero or less than eight pounds. Apparently, it'll do something to the screwdriver if you leave it for a long time. So turn this the other way. Where are we at? Turn it the other way until when you're done. Turn it the other way until this is below eight pounds, okay? I'll try to find one of these bad boys on Amazon or something, put a link to it. Um, if you're that type of person that likes to be that specific, knowing that you did everything right and it's gotta be torqued at 14 pounds, um, I'll put a link to Amazon uh, for one of these. It's a handy tool and it's satisfying knowing that 
hey, I did my best. I put the wire under there. I torqued it the way they said this should work properly. It should never be a problem. Okay? Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.